Um, Minecraft is a very large game with very many files, but how many of them can you delete before the game stops working? It's not as simple as just pressing the delete button. Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> Mojang has put tons of hoops in place to make it as difficult as possible for someone to break their game. But let's see if they can stop me. The first issue is that no matter how many files you delete, Minecraft will automatically reinstall them the second you open it. This meant that the first thing I needed to do was find a way to stop Minecraft from repairing itself. Stop it. So I decided to run Minecraft through as many third-party launchers as I could find in hopes that one of them would have the ability to skip this step. Nope. I was starting to think it'd be impossible to delete any files from Minecraft without modding it. But then it hit me. The way that Minecraft repairs itself is by looking for missing files and then downloading anything that's not there from the internet. So... I unplugged it. Hooray! If Minecraft can't connect to the internet, then we can start the game in offline mode bypassing all of the missing file checks. But this doesn't mean we can just start deleting any file we want because some of the files are required just to get the game to open. Which meant I would need to manually go through the 5 folders in 6814 class files to see what could be deleted and what couldn't. The first thing I wanted to completely remove from Minecraft was all of the text. Why? Because it's the first thing I saw. <laughs> I found three folders in the assets folder called text, font, and lang. Lang was actually one of the first things I found that you couldn't delete without the game crashing. But luckily it didn't matter because deleting text and font completely broke the text system anyways. What is this? Let's play for... <laughs> yes, my favorite world. Let's build our house out of... <laughs> Wait, how do I set it to daytime? Uh, game rule, do daylight cycle, false, time set, noon. There we go, look at that. But just deleting the text wasn't enough. I wanted to delete as many files as possible. And what better way to do that than to delete every single texture in the game? I started with the entity textures. Oh, um, I'm a new type of Alex model, I guess. <gasps> Some beautiful ponies. <gasps> The squid's got little shoes on. Then I deleted the item textures. Oh, wait, this actually looks kind of cool. I have no idea what's in my inventory. <laughs> Very nice. Then I deleted the GUI textures. Oh my, I think this is an improvement. <laughs> wow, yep, okay. <laughs> Here, let me try and, uh, what menu is this? And this brought us to the second thing I wasn't able to delete the color map folder. Now this is strange because there's only two things in the color map folder, the grass color and the foliage color, but why couldn't I delete it? Well, first let me say that I have a new house and I need to buy some furniture because it's empty. So, uh... This video was sponsored by Honkai Impact 3rd. Honkai Impact is announcing its next update. Air Sheriff Finality Kiana is back in attacks with pistols and a sword. In the air, she can knock enemies airborne or spike them to the ground. Air Sheriff Origin Raiden Mei also has a new battle suit and attacks with her wing blade. Next up is Part 1's final story chapter, Toward a New Tomorrow. You'll control Hair Sheriff Finality, Hair Sheriff Origin, and Hair Sheriff Truth to fight against Kevin and his summoned entities. Complete story chapter Chapter 34 to get a hair share of origin character card and check out these new outfits for seal fallen rosemary hair share of flame screen and lee sushong version kiana marks the fifth anniversary for the global server during the celebration honkai impact third will host local events in the us the uk france and germany plus you can win bonus rewards on the anniversary website linked in the description below download the game right now with code mk final to get all these rewards for free so anyways where were we we figured out that we cannot delete the color map folder no matter what we do and sure we can't delete the images but why not just um erase everything inside of them so i extracted the files put them into photoshop completely erased them out and put them back into the jar file and since the files still technically existed even though the textures were blank minecraft thought it was fine and with the color map issue fixed it was time to move on to the next folder in the textures Every single block texture in the game. Um, what? Why is there one like over? What? It, what? What is happening? Ooh, underwater is pretty interesting. Wait, look at the enchantment glint. I have tiny missing textures inside the missing texture. Big fan of this creative menu. Oh, what an interesting thing I've done. 
what an interesting thing I've done. I think it's broken. You can delete every single texture in Minecraft except for those two specific color map files, even though they can be erased. Now, all this was hilarious, but there was still one thing on my mind. How did the main menu still have a panorama if we deleted all of the textures? And that's when I found the .minecraft assets folder. This folder is full of tons of very important files Minecraft uses all the time. Swoosh! Not only did that file contain all of the panorama files I was looking for, but it's also what made Minecraft run sound. Yeah, Minecraft will no longer have sound for the rest of the video. <laughs> now at this point, you may be thinking, there's not much left you can really delete. That's pretty much most of the game right there, right? Not exactly. We can delete most of these net and com folders in the entirety of the meta m folder, but that brings us to this data folder. The data folder is full of tons of crucial Minecraft info, such as the data for every structure in the game. Without this folder, we would no longer be able to make worlds in Minecraft. Oh well. So now with all the core folders gone through, we only have one thing left to look at, and arguably the most difficult part of this whole video. The 6,814 class files. Oh, this is gonna take so long, isn't it? Well, first of all, what are they? Each of these class files is a crucial part of Minecraft's source code, which means that theoretically, it should be impossible to delete these without the game crashing. I mean, we're literally deleting pieces of the code, right? Well, Minecraft isn't exactly known for being coded well. You also might have noticed that all of these files are just named with random letters. Why? Well, that's because they've been obfuscated. Obfuscated code means that Mojang made the code as hard to read as possible just to help fight people that try to get the game illegally. Or at least that's my best guess. I mean, I don't know. So to speed things up, I deobfuscated the code, I decompiled the code, and I read through the code to see what could be deleted and what couldn't. And I started to use a lot of WinRAR, so I had an idea. How much is WinRAR? Here we go buy WinRAR. Has anyone ever done this before? 30 bucks? It'd be funny. Am I down to spend $30 for a joke? There we go. You are now speaking to a proud owner of WinRAR Premium. <laughs> or probably the only owner, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> First of all, there were a surprising amount of things you could delete that would only cause very specific crashes in very specific scenarios. But there was one file that stood out in particular, qw.class. Now, this may seem like a completely random file in the mix of 6,814 class files, but this completely random file is what's responsible for connecting the player to a world. Without this specific file, you wouldn't be able to join any single world in the game, not multiplayer, nor even single player. And for whatever reason, you don't need this file to open Minecraft. So I launched the game, waited through the loading screen, which by the way is much faster now, and made it to the main menu. Or should I say the only menu? Because if you try to go any further than this menu, the game will end. Welcome to the official minimal version of Minecraft you're allowed to play, the main menu. Make sure you're subscribed to see when I upload new videos. And if you don't know what to watch next, I'd recommend this video solely because I made it. That's the only reason you just, just watch my videos. Thanks.